beautiful people. It is Sherry Moulton back with another video. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. Um, I am excited. I apologize. We'll start off with I apologize for not having a video in a week or a half almost. But and again, life happens. We had a lot of icy, icy weather up here lately. So, and I've been working a lot. So, but anyways, enough of that. We're going to do another video using the drywall compound mixture that I've been using. I'm going to show you how to color it. I'm going to show you how to put some broken glass and glitter on it. Um, again, I'm doing the video after I've done the, the my intro, after I've done the video. So here's a sneak peek. This is what we're going to make today. We have blue leafing. We have broken glass and glitter, and a sunflower. So with that, my beautiful people, um, if you want to learn how to do this, I have fast forward some of it, but it might be a, a couple of minutes longer than what most people's videos are, but you get the whole process, guys. So with that, I already have my working clothes on. I'm covered in blue. Uh, you'll see the struggle, <laughs> but it's fun. So with that, I'll see you guys in just a second with all my stuff together. Hello, we are back. I've got my working clothes on. I'm excited. So for Christmas, my husband purchased himself a bamboo 3D printer. So he's been playing. So I'm going to show you a couple of things that he has made because I'm actually quite impressed. And this is a vase. Like, look at the filament. It changes colors. It is so freaking adorable. So there's the one thing. This is another thing. It is like a fidget. It's a keychain. It's got a hole in the top and a hole in the bottom that you could hang something off of it as well. That is awesome. But look at the color. The color is freaking amazing. And this is how it comes out of the printer. It's all together, which is awesome. But the next thing you're going to freak out, guys, I tell you, he made me a Volkswagen bug that holds my brushes, my friends. <laughs> is that not adorable? It is cool. It's even got like the little door handles. It's got the headlights, the bumper, the back bumper didn't turn out quite right. So that is fine with me so I said I need three more because I have so many paint brushes <laughs> so I had to show and tell you that so with that let's get into today's back on the track today's topic we are going to do another one as you've seen in the intro another one of the drywall compound contraption thing we are gonna do a sunflower and I thought this is a pretty sure this is 10 by 10 let me get my little ruler out because I took the papers off. Yeah, 10 by 10, just a standard canvas. I taped and push pinned it. It's not the gallery wrapped one, but it's fine. So I've printed this off at work. It is just on printer paper. So it's nothing special. And this is called tracing paper. I apologize. I don't know if I mentioned it in my last video. I'm using tracing paper. And when you use tracing paper, guys, you want the black side to whatever you want to trace to. Or you'll go through all that tracing and have nothing on there. It'll be on the back of your paper. So I decided to sunflower. I decided to do it on a half angled. I have pulled out some colorants. I'm going to attempt to color this. I have, this is from Crystal Resin, I have some lemon yellow pigment paste. Now when you're mixing the pigment paste in there, or pigment powder, mica powder, sorry. When you mix it into the paste, it's going to make it thick. So you have to pay attention to what you add to the drywall compound mixture because it'll make it thicker. So then I have this Bombay Indian ink. This one is um, golden yellow. So I thought I would do a combo of both to see where I go. It's going to be 100% very muted because it is white. But I thought if it had a little bit of a yellow color to it, when I did it, I wouldn't paint it after. And you ready? I am not going to do any of the bobbles in here because we're going to use some black 
glass. I have my, this is a mixture. I'm 100% sure that this is what I colored with my alcohol inks. This is the silver Ashlyn decorative filler. And I'm pretty sure, because as I use it, guys, I don't throw anything away. It is in a container, but you can see there is glitter in there as well. So we'll use that for the sunflower seed part. So I'm excited. So with that, I'm going to give this a base coat and we're gonna get right into it. I had, so I'm gonna put you on pause. I had it sitting here, guys. I lost it. The story of my life. I'll be right back. Found it, guys. You know when you go into a grocery store and you can't find something and then you ask somebody and they go, oh, it's right there, right in front of your nose. It was sitting right beside my tray. <laughs> So anyways, I'm going to base coat it with my Artist Loft. This is the iridescent medium. This is an old jug, guys. So if you go to Michael's to purchase this again, it comes in a tub, I'm pretty sure. Now, I have to cut it. I have to coat it with something. So to me, why not make it something that's blingy, sparkly? I know I covered up the whole top on the other one, but my sides, which are gallery wrapped, are all iridescent medium. See? I covered the whole top, but that's, you got something still sparkly, guys. Now this one, I don't know, I may not do the gold leaf on it, we'll see. This is my, um, I always forget the name, Royal and Lang Nickel Jumbo R75975, this is an awesome brush, I got this from Michaels crisscross just to get the canvas covered quickly you could even oh just painted my whole hand you could even do this in a blue if you wanted to to have a beautiful sunflowers and blue were pretty together and then I'm just gonna get the sides so you could have this um, Painted blue, I think would be beautiful. So we're gonna color. I'm gonna talk and paint. We're gonna color my um, drywall paste today. So we'll get to that in a minute here, but let me get just the edge. I know you're not in the frame. My apologies, guys. I'm trying to do it quick, 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 quick. There we go. And then while this is drying, I'm gonna set it aside and we will mix up our compound, which the recipe, I'll tell you the recipe, but I'm not mixing up a new batch. The reason why we're doing another video like this is because I wanna make sure I use it up and it doesn't go to waste. All right, all four edges are done. Top is done. I'm gonna set it to the side, my friends somewhere where it's not going to get hit with something and yeah <laughs> and always wash your brush guys after you um playing around all right i'm just going to set it here all right so we have our drywall this actually is pretty awesome guys so i off camera i should have showed you this is a dollar store container I just cut a piping bag that I have. I have so many of them because my husband was buying them as well. And I scraped down all the sides and I pushed it all in the middle and I covered it with plastic so that there was no hard crusties on the top and it looks amazing. So I'm gonna take out a bit and where to put the, <laughs> I just lose everything. I'm gonna put some in this bowl and I have this little spatula. Like, look at it, it is amazing. And it's cold in my basement, so I'm gonna mix up. Don't wanna mix too much of it because then, but I wanna make sure I have enough to do the flowers because I wanna do the, um, yeah, that should be good. That's a piping bag's worth. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that there. You see how much that? That's probably a good cup. And I'm going to put 
this back on it. Let's go this way because then that can go down there. All right, this back on it, fold it on up. And the, I left it in my piping bag and it's still good, guys. So that's in there, I'm gonna cover that up. So now I have decided I have some Indian ink and I have my mica powder. So let's put some of the mica powder first. I apologize, I'm not sure if I said it already. This is from um, Crystal Resin. It is lemon yellow. And I'm just trying to find my little spoons. There we go. And I'm gonna do one, two spoons of Kellogg's Raisin Brand <laughs> and mix it in. Oh, it's gonna work now you want it to keep the same consistency guys so I'm gonna probably add some of the ink because I want that vibrant color but it isn't gonna happen I know you can see <clears throat> that it's muted my bowl keeps wanting to roll away on me guys there we go And with the drywall compound mixture, you mix, want to mix it up again. If you're leaving it in that container, and if you're just going to do it plain old white, I would give it a good mix before you use it. Don't just put it in the piping bag the way it is there. So that is definitely... Here, I'm going to hold my... So that is definitely a different color right now I'm gonna put a few drops of this Indian ink this one is golden yellow Bombay we're gonna do two squirts because that's a lot of liquid you don't want it to be runny you want your consistency to still be good And like I was saying, I want it, you want it to be almost like buttercream ice. <sighs> Royal icing is maybe what I'm thinking. I could be totally wrong. But the one that's really thick that you make the flowers with. I think that's good. It's going to be a hint of yellow. Because I don't want this any thinner. Because you want it to stand up, but you want it to be... Yeah, and again, it's gonna probably dry off white again. So there we go. Now we have to wait, but while we wait, I can put my put this in my piping bag. So I have a piping bag. These are just I bought a whole bunch of them. Um, you can get them on Amazon. You can get them on Timu. You can get them at Michaels. Wherever is the cheapest, guys. You could even use a um, a sandwich baggie. It doesn't have to be one of these. And I turn it inside out because then that way you're not going to be messy. And I'm going to put this in. Just get the initial in there. And then you're going to have to, I have to pull it out anyways because I have to work it down. You want to work it down to the... To the end and I'm gonna make a bigger hole in this one I didn't show you this last time and I apologize so the recipe for this while we're talking and while I'm doing this the recipe for this is one cup of drywall compound stuff that you do spackling um, you prime your you do your walls with that's what we're using and then I did, I added iridescent medium. You don't have to, and realistically, it didn't really show up. I'm just trying to push it all down so I can add some more in here. Um, realistically, it did not show, because I was thinking that you would get that little bit of sparkle, 
and it didn't happen, so that's fine. You could just do two, two tablespoons of white paint instead of the drywall or instead of the um, iridescent medium. Mix that all together, and that is all I'm all I got here. That is what's here. And then I had a comment. Someone was saying that this is actually called um, embroider brush embroider embroidery in the cake decorating world. Let me see. I'm gonna. Oops. Look at it. It's all over my hands. I think that's good. I'm gonna. Shake it all down and it'll be better and I'm going to cut a bigger hole. So what I'm going to do is put, I do have saran wrap down here, but of course you can't find anything. Oh, I'll know what I'll use to cover off of my um, canvas. There we go. And I'm just going to cover that just until we're done piping on and see if I need to add more. I'm going to stick it underneath. So if it's, I can't find it, tell me it's underneath here, <laughs> underneath my little tray. All right, guys. So let me see if the canvas is dry. And I do it. Oh, no. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my blow dryer out and we're going to blow dry this so it's dry and then we'll come back and trace on the pattern I'll be right back guys okay we are back it is dry so place your canvas your 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 picture I'm doing it I'm gonna I'll show you it so I'm gonna do it on the corners like see where it's there right I was gonna do a bigger canvas but I think this is better on this little one so um you can tape it down Actually, maybe that's what I'll do. Tape it down, and then I'm going to put my paper underneath of it and trace it all out. And I'm not going to put you guys through that torture. I'm just going to take a couple of this, split this in half. I'm going to bend it down because I can put the other paper in this way. Just so it holds, and then that way you're not... Make sure it's straight. And that way you're not um, moving moving it around and you're going to get double flowers. So it doesn't really matter anyways. And then this, again, black side down. So you're always... Slip this in. And I'm not going to really do anything here. I'm just going to maybe do... Stop it. A little dot there. We can fix this up anyways. It don't much matter. So I'm going to not put you through the torture. I am going to find my pen. I'm going to use my pencil. I'm just going to trace it and I will do a time lapse. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, so I did that. And it's very lightly on there and that's all you want. And let me just get that out of the way. I don't know if you can see. I'm going to just carry this on because it kind of... And then there was a petal here. There. I don't know if you can see it, guys. I, I like the iridescent medium, but it's kind of hard to, to tell what you're doing with it. All right, so the fun begins. As in the other one, you always want to work backwards so anything that is in the front you do last I might extend my petals up just because it would be nice to bring them out a little more 
Well, that one looks a little funky, but we can fix that. And then you come here and come here. Where is that? I just got to hold it so I can see it a little better, guys. And then this guy. And this one's good. I just wanted to bring more on this end. So. And you can draw it on yourself as well. You don't need to to be using a stent, you know, tracing paper. Just kind of going over it to make it so that it does look proper. And then this one. And this guy. And you can erase, I suppose you probably could erase those. And this is the back, so I want to, like that. And then this guy will come out, like that. And then there's another little one there. Perfect. And then this is kind of where we're putting all the glass. All right. Let's go, my friends. I'm excited. All right. So, with this one, the other one I took very little off. I'm going to do about here, right about there. And then I'm going to test it. Let's bring this guy out. Oh, I hope my hands do well with this, guys. That's what I'm looking for. Something big like that. A little bit higher, because when I found, no, now I gotta find my brushes. The, um, I left them upstairs, so we're just gonna use another brush here. You wet your brush, and then with the height of that, you're gonna get a better Nice three-dimensional. You see that? As opposed to with the little skinny, with the little skinny ones, you got the three-dimensional, but it's nice to have that big old lip on there. So with that, my friends, let's start having some fun. Okay. I'm going to leave that there and we'll see how it dries tonight. Alrighty. Back first. So let's start with this one. I'm going to try to bring it in. And please don't be mad at me if I get out of frame. <laughs> All right. And hopefully I'm not in your way either. So. And you can come back and make it bigger. And you, again, like the other one, I'm going to work each one. That's going to be hard to get it all the way down there. Oh, shoot. I'm going to work each one as I'm going. So I'm going to wet my little brush. And I'm going to put you this way. Wish me luck, my friends. And you never know, after all this, I might decide to paint it <laughs> yellow. <laughs> but you don't know if you don't try, right? So lightly, so you can get those marks in there. And this is an angled brush, so I'm flipping it from side to side to get in there. Oh, 
I'm just doing this and then I'm going to try to bring it down here. Because that's what I found with the other one. That's why I painted the other one. I had not intended... Here, I'm just going to steal it from here. I was not intending to paint the other one. I had all intentions just to leave it. And you want to go only to where the... And we got a clump here because I used that other stuff. Sorry, guys. I know you're not going to get the texture on this part down here, but I want at least to be able to have some of that drywall down there or the compound. And then I can come back up and fix this up here. A little bit of water. Smooth it out. I'm going to switch to a round one because it's kind of hard to get that. This is just a little wee round one, guys. And it's a flat one, sorry. But I want it to get in there properly. There we go. And just bring in some of that texture. And you want to go the way of the flower would go. Perfect. I am impressed. It is very 3D. Awesome. So then we'll do this one next. This one. Well, actually, let's work. Because I can do this one here on the edge. And you could, like I mentioned, I'm going to put it this way. Like I mentioned in the other video, you could actually put one, two, three, four, whichever way you want to do them first. And I always want to make sure your end is clean. There we go. Let's get this one here. I'm just going to do that. Maybe a little bit more. And then bring that one down. And then I can do that one that's in between them. Got my same two brushes. So I keep making sure you're in. And I'm just trying to paint first. Because you want to make sure. Like I said, I could see so many bits of my I want to bring that up I'm going to use my finger I seen so many bits of this iridescent medium through that white that's the again that was the only reason why I painted it and now we just do some strokes to bring it there I'm going to clean that one off and actually this little guy worked better for the the textured so we're just gonna straight up and down and a quick flick ah that works better see awesome so now we're gonna do this one <laughs> I'm like where <laughs> did I put the piping bag you guys were all probably hollering at me anyways Perfect. All right, so we're going to start from here on the corner. I'm just going to start down here. And it's kind of hard to have it go off the corner because you need that compound to, to do the flower. If that makes sense at all. 
I'm going to bring this up higher. For some reason it went wide, not high. we got lots to play with, so I'm pretty sure we're going to be good. There we go. Wipe that off. Let's get it painted. Again, I'm just getting this on there and then I'm going to come back. This little one is really good. It is a size four. These are Craft Smarts Royal Lang Nickel. This came as a set. There was a whole bunch of them from Michaels. And again, from the top and work your way down. Quick flick. Just brushing it off on my little pad. I'm just gonna play around to bring that in there without it looking kind of silly. There we go. So then we will do this guy and then we can come back and do that one. Let's go, Sherry. Let's go, Sherry. <laughs> we went to a hockey game the other night. I miss hockey. My son played rep hockey for about 15 years as a goalie. And if you know anything, us goalie moms are special. I was the mom that had the cowbell. Go figure, hey? <laughs> uh, I laughed. I, I'm going to tell you a little story. Uh, <clears throat> sorry, the one goalie, the one year, their last name was Bailey. And my first name Sherry. So the one day we were at a hockey game and it was a pretty good, important kind of game. And we're just going to do the same. And it ended up that the sweet little lady came in and she handed um, the other goalie's mom a little wee, kind of like a little Mickey of Bailey's, handed me a bottle of sherry and said, now sit down, drink it, sit down and shut up. <laughs> it's really funny. Oh. I was very... supportive, would the word be? I wasn't aggressive or anything, but I, I had fun. We had fun. There we go, and I'm going to come in with that, why did I do that? I'm going to come in with the little one. I'm just going to wet it a little bit, clean it off, and then try to get some, some texture. Oh, it's a little wet still. And 
And if it ain't perfect, guys, um, Mother Nature, nothing is perfect, right? Are you ready? Are you ready? We are on our last petal. This is so freaking cool. I'm actually, <laughs> I'm glad that I uh, played around with this because this is fun, guys. All right, cleaned it off, and here we go. Last petal. Da, 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 da. There we go. And let's get this all smoothed out. Oh, these would be pretty with just leaves as well. Like a palm leaf kind of idea. So we're just going to get in here and try and shape that a little bit at the top. get that I can see where there's the paint below it let me get the other one where it's not wet and it'll be able to drag it through start at the top take this big clump maybe there we go It's a good thing. You can always play with it, guys, until it's dry. And I'm pretty sure it's like drywall. You could even scrape it off if you don't like it. And start over. Instead of throwing your canvas away. Oh, I'm impressed. Okay. Now what I might do is I'm going to take my piping bag and my brush and I'm going to come in and just where I'm seeing, I'm just going to paint a little bit in here at the bottom. Because I, again, I, and again, if you watch my channel, Sherry changes her mind. So don't be upset if I change my mind and decide to paint it all. I think that's going to be pretty, and I think, let me see, don't want to go too crazy with it, but what do you think, guys? I think that's going to be pretty. Piled up in there as the, the leaves. All right, so we're going to let this dry. I have to work today, so I'm going to probably let it dry overnight. As long as, because I'm not going to paint it, right? So as long as it's semi-dry, you can carry on with something else. Um, I'm probably going to leave it white around the edging. And yeah, so with that, I'll see you guys in the morning. Hello, we are back. I'm excited. This is beautiful. I love the color. But when you put this black here, it is so stark. All you're looking at is the black. So in my little brain, and I mean little, I have opted, as many of you watch my channel, Sherry changes her mind halfway through a project. I have pulled out my, this is um, Artist Liquidex Basics. This is the Cadmium Yellow Light Hue. I had, piped on this little scrape here, scraper and do you see what it looks like once I put that little bit of paint I'm not going to paint the edges I'm just going to paint the centers and bring it up so I'm going to do <laughs> I'm going to do one 
and we'll see what it looks like. But I think that's what I'm going to do because I don't like the idea that basically all you're going to see is this black. And for some reason, look at all this paint goop. For some reason, I didn't have any. I thought I might mix the gold with some, or the black with some gold, but I didn't have any gold, which is very odd. So I'm just going to put a little on a plate. Not too much because I don't need a lot. And trusty dusty, just a paintbrush. You can use any brush you want. And I'm just going to proceed. Load her up. I just wet it a little bit just to see. And let's see. Let's see what we got. And then you tell me what you think. I think it gives it that little je ne sais quoi, so to speak. All right, yeah, I think we're going for it, my friends. So with that being said, I will do the bottom half like that, but I will leave the edging just to brighten it up. So you've learned, you can color your paste or whatever you want to call it, the compound that I made. You've learned that it's going to be 100% pastels. It isn't going to be a vibrant color, my friends. And it is kind of cool. And there we go. I'm excited. Like I said, I want to do this one with like a, a tropical leaf plant. I think it would be cool. Didn't use much paint at all, my friends. So let's get this out of the road. And then the fun stuff. So this is my liquid glass, tri -art liquid glass. I prefer to use this. Now you guys can use anything that goes clear. This is what I use. Uh, there you go. So you can use anything that's clear, that'll dry clear. You could use Elmer's glue. You could use Mod Podge. You could use resin. I always used to use resin when I did this type of stuff, but I've gotten away because I quite enjoy this. It's a one-stop shop. You don't have to mix it like the resin. And I know it's going to stick. I've done videos where I've done the Mod Podge and it I've had to do it two or three times because it doesn't stick for me. For me. It's different for everybody. So I'm just using a silicone brush and I'm going to and I know my paint is still a little wet. It is what it is. Like it's only around the edging. I'm not too worried, but I want to make sure I get right up to the edge with this. Maybe even cover the odd little. So what I think I might do is a layer of like gold glitter and here I'm going to try to bring it. I don't want it over the edge, but I want it right to the edge. So I'm just brushing it. Just try and get a smooth layer in the middle. And there we go. I 
I think that is good. I'm just going to wipe this off. And here we go, my friends. I think I might... Oh, my goodness. Okay, I can't keep changing my mind. Here we go. Go big or go home. Now, you could have painted the corner black. I'm going to try and flatten it out so that you don't see what's underneath. But I'm going to come in and sprinkle with glitter. And you want enough glitter that it's going to cover the, um, the white. Try and push all of that up on top. Get some bigger ones here, lay them flat. And I like this, like I said, this tri liquid glass, it, it dries. I put my Dyson air purifier heater fan thing on and it it's dried within I'm gonna say maybe two hours and there we go a couple more here as long as it's touching it it's gonna adhere so Try and fill it in as much as I can with the glass. All right. <laughs> I'm putting my lid on, I tell you guys. All right, let me grab some of, I'm hoping I have, I'm such a color person, I don't even know if I've got some Oh, I do. I was wondering if I had black glitter from Laura, and I do, which is good. Sorry, guys. And I'm wondering if maybe... No, we'll just do it all black. I was going to say if maybe I could do that around the edging, but no. I think we're just going to go straight in. This is Galaxy black and then let me see oh, I need a fine a fine black and then I have this one this is from recollections it is black <laughs> black so I'm gonna put this down first I'm gonna grab a spoon and see what I can do. That's pretty. Try to get the edge because you want to make sure you cover any of that liquid glass because it will dry clear. And what I'm going to do there, that's it. I don't think I need the other one, but what I'm going to try to do is hopefully. Oh, I don't want it to stick to the the petals where it's really bad. I'm going to try and brush it in. Ah. There. 
with the H. What the heck? I'm just going to go over it with this. And then that way it'll cover. I'm going to move it this way. And anything that's on here will get picked up, guys. Just because it's fine, it'll get into all those little nooks and crannies. There. All right. Now we're going to let this dry. I'm excited. I think it looks pretty already. Now, I I'm, I'm glad I painted it because it is a big difference. So I'm going to put my fan on it and I'll see you guys when it's all dry. Okay, I am back, guys. This is dry. So I've got a piece of paper here and I'm just going to give it a shake. Do you see how many glass came off? Not very many. And that is because I use that liquid glass. That looks freaking amazing. Look at that. Woo! Now, my ever evolving brain, I don't know if that's even a thing. Um, I like the idea that the other one is gold leafed. What do you think about gold leafing this one? What do you think, guys? Let me just set this here. What do you think? Do you think it'll be good? I think it'll be good. So we're gonna... <laughs> I'm always changing my mind. It's my channel. I can do whatever I want. I'm joking around. Well, uh, no, not really, but yes and no. So I'm going to get my <laughs> sizing out. We're going to put it all on here. And I'll be right back, guys. <laughs> okay, guys. I was looking at my, my painting thing. And I'm not sure if I want to do gold. So I went through all of my little colors I was showing you in the last video. And I'm going to try and use the blue this may not be pretty may be pretty but i thought that eh, i think the blue would be pretty so i've got my sizing medium this is my adhesive size it is by speedball metal leaf i got this one at michael's give it a little shake i'm just gonna paint it on there's nothing special to it and you have to let it dry or get tacky before you can let it work. So well, I'm just going to do all over here. And I know I'm going to get the question again. Why did you paint it? You need to base coat something on here. I personally would think that. So to me, painting a color doesn't matter whether I paint it white. This beautiful iridesc iridescent is to me pretty. So if I opted to change my mind, which as you know, I do. <laughs> then that is already on there and I'm just dipping into just got a flat brush I'm dipping into this and we're just gonna do a good coat and make sure you don't get the edge okay so I'm gonna bring it in lay it flat get it into the edge lay it flat get it into the edge and then when you do come to the end flick it this way because you will not get any on the edging of your painting and I just want to stand it up so I can get it in here I don't really want to get it on the top of the leaves my petals my brush is pretty but I want to make sure I have it in that corner, right in here, so we don't have any. There, I can see it in there. Perfect. All right, I'm just going to fast forward you guys, and I'm going to finish this off.
Okay, so that's all done. I want to just point out, I made sure I got up and down in each little crevice so that there was no white showing because there will be white showing if you don't have the adhesive on there. So, and I dub double checked, I don't know if you've seen me doing that, that I had nothing on the sides. So now I have to wait probably about 15, 20 minutes, let it get tacky and then we'll be back and we'll put some blue leafing on it. I'll see you in a sec, guys. Okay, we're nice and tacky. I don't know if you can hear this. That's what you want to hear. Okay, so now I've got my blue, my blue, 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 and a lot of these are broken. So I thought I could possibly use these up. So I'm going to set them here. And I have green as well. So my option was like, oh, do I use the green too? But let's see if this, no. Nope. Let's see if I can do it this way. I'm gonna get this here. Flies when you want it to, and it, when you want to get it off, it doesn't go nowhere. <laughs> oh well. <sighs> it is what it is, my friend. There we go. Let's get off my fingers. Okay, I really want to get it in there. There. Perfect. In there. See if I can get there's little bits on my table here. weather has been re crazy here. We had freezing rain the last two or three days. I have had to work till eight o'clock at night and it's like, oh my goodness. Okay, so that is that. Now let me see. I'm gonna grab a piece of paper just to put underneath of it and then that way I think it'd be easier to put it into something else. All right, let's get out of here. And then, like I said, you want a soft bristled brush and then all you're doing is just rubbing it in, burnishing it. easier if it was not all crazy little pieces but I'm impressed I thought there'd be more little crackies things and I probably can come back and see about adding a little more of my medium to a couple spots. My 
because like right here I would really like to fix that. I'm just going to turn upside down guys just to try and shake off what is in there. I'm going to pick that up and set that aside for one minute. I'm going to <laughs> clean my brush off on my pant leg. Oh, and then I want to make sure that oh, I don't want it to. I'm going to grab the blow dryer. <laughs> Let's see how much of a mess I can make with this. I just want to get that off there without varnishing it on here. So give me a sec, guys. <laughs> so much easier less fussy all right now I've got a little here but I've learned from the other one if you take your time you could scrape that off there you go guys the edges are rough but I love it with the blue I think that turned out amazing I think it is going to be beautiful. I just didn't think the gold would look nice with the with the yellow. So in this video, you learned to color your compound, drywall compound mixture. I don't know, I'm gonna have to make a name of it. And you learned how to put it in the bag because I didn't show you that in the last video. And of course we had to add our sparkle and glitter and all that amazing stuff. Like, look at that. That's gorgeous. Okay, guys. So, do I do that right now? Give me two minutes. I'm gonna open up my jar of my, um, here it is here. Cause that right there is bugging me. Ugh. And I'm just gonna, here, let's put it in the lid. Just dabbing it. And I'm just gonna go like that. Maybe there. And there's one here. And one little piece here. Awesome. So I'm going to let that go tacky and I'll see you guys in a second. I'm back. It is tacky again. So now I'm going to come in. Oh my goodness. So small pieces guys. Come on. All right. And then over here on the top. Well, there you go. If you lick your finger or wet your finger, <laughs> it comes off easier. Putting it wherever it's tacky. Come on. A little more right there. It's hard to see it because everything else is colored. All right. Let's try this again. Oh, that's better. See? Okay, not so rough. You want to varnish it, but not to the point where you're going to take it off, right? <clears throat> Here we go. 
I set that aside. I'm going to do the blow dryer again one more time because I think that is the best way to take it off of your um, center part. There we go. I think this turned out amazing. I'm so happy with it. I was on the fence like, look at that blue. That is gorgeous. Look at that. So with that, my beautiful people, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I apologize about the um, long wait in between, but now that we know that this compound will stay for quite a while, like I said, that drywall compound I had in the bag, in that container, was from last Christmas when I did my um, Christmas tree with the broken mirrors. So that's good. As long as it's covered, and I'm going to pull mine out, and as long as you, you do the method I just did, I'm going to open it and show you. Scrape it all down, put a piece of plastic on top, like it does not be nothing extravagant and keep a lid on it and you will be good. I'm pretty sure you're gonna be good for a few, I'm gonna say even a, a couple of, uh, maybe a month. So I'm gonna come back, we're gonna keep playing with it. And I promise it's not gonna be all my videos. <laughs> um, I have a lot of resin things in my head that I wanna get done, but it's life and it's time, my friends. So with that, if you liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up. And I don't know if you've noticed, I am almost at nine. 100,000 K so please if you're not yet subscribed please think about subscribing helping me get to that 100 K milestone on my, on my channel and if you like it give it a share um, as always everything I've used will be linked in the description box and check out my description box I have codes for so many things I've got a discount code for Laura's um, art corner for the glitter I have all kinds of stuff in there. So with that, my beautiful people, I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you guys. Bye.